Hello everyone and welcome to the latest episode of Heads Unboxing. This time we will take a look at a figure I've been waiting for a long time. It is the Iron Man Mark 50 or Mark L from Avengers Infinity War. The figure was made by Hot Toys and like all the latest Iron Man it's die cast metal. So this big box is quite heavy. The box is still a piece of art itself, but I can't wait to have a look inside. So let the unboxing begin. The Iron Man figures from Hot Toys always come with some additional parts. With this guy we get some extra hands and a Tony Stark hat. Before we can take a first look at this figure, we have to remove all these sheets. That can take a while. But I'm not complaining. Over the last years I got a lot of Iron Man from Hot Toys. And they all reached my home safely and undamaged. I'm very glad I was able to record the first part of the unboxing on my balcony. So you can see how amazing this guy is looking in the sunlight. If you compare this Iron Man with the figure Hot Toys did 10 years ago. It's really a big difference. Switching from plastic to die cast metal was also a great idea. There are some more parts hidden in the box. This Iron Man comes with some weapons and of course we get a base and some batteries. I have to admit I'm a bit disappointed by the base. It was only a few years ago when Hot Toys did real diorama bases with rocks and concrete. These days we get just a painted plate. Hot Toys if you are watching, you can do better. One of the most amazing parts is always the Tony Stark hat. Once again the people at Hot Toys have taken great care to make it as realistic as possible. And once again the Iron Man is covered with little scratches and dirt. So it will look more like a machine and less than a toy. I'm still not sure if I do like it. I wish there would be an option for a brand new Iron Man. Now let's do some customization. I always prefer the hands with the movable fingers. They can pose so much better. And as you can see the hands are very easy to replace. Unlike some other parts of this figure. For the right arm I decided to use one of the small guns that came with the figure. It is very nice looking. It's just too bad this piece is plastic and not also die cast metal. But I should not complain too much. It's looking great. Now all we have to do is reattach the hand. At the moment I can't remember when this gun was used in the movie. Maybe some of you guys is kind enough to tell me. And speaking of guns, I think I changed my mind. I want a weapon on the other arm too. Luckily it can be replaced with this giant blaster. Here we go. It looks pretty mean if you ask me. Now we are ready for our first look. The Iron Man Mark L, a real piece of art. I have to say I love this figure. But what do you think? Please tell me in the comments for this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Do you like this figure as much as I do? Well you don't have to decide right now. Just let me finish the unboxing. Yes it's true there is more to see. One important part is still missing. It may be hard to believe, but this guy has wings. And here they are, the wings of the Iron Man Mark 50. Strange looking with a lot of sharp edges. In the third Iron Man movie, all the Iron Man had funny names like Heartbreaker or Disco. And because of the wings, some fans call the Mark 50 Tinkerbell. That is a funny name indeed, but I do agree, these wings look a bit like fairy wings. 
And as you can see, they are very easy to attach. Finally, the Mark 50 is complete. And now you can tell me what you think. Another close look should help you to decide. The figure is indeed able to stand without a base. But be very careful when trying this. The guy is so heavy, I'm sure something will break if he falls over. But this is a great figure, there's no doubt about it. Probably one of the best figures Hot Toys ever made. If the upcoming releases will be that good, we all can be very happy. And that is all I wanted to show you this time. I hope you did enjoy this little video. Thanks for watching till the very end. If you subscribe to the channel, I will talk to you again very soon.